Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers Ghost of New Eden. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty and it is time for Home Lies Where the Heart Lies. Uh, we are continuing our haunting case. I think it was... Uh, good question. I think it was... Um, one here uh the traveling merchants there we go that's uh, the haunting case that we were uh, following and we already know that jane is trying to murder the hummingbirds or whatever their name was and we on the other hand need to prevent that well not really prevent it but we need to make sure that we're not i guess we're completely out of line. Crimson hummingbird should stand out. Need another soldier. Once we find that, we can... Get another cursed item. That's not too bad. I suggest we're searching and somewhere in this area there should be the answer to our questions. We need to go to the mercenary camp which I assume is near-ish. Can't be directly in the fort here. Watch out, Spectre position. Too late. They never learn, do they? That Spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Good. Problem solved. Look at the little birdie. Going forward, I would like to move over here. And we found a little birdie. It's a good uh, sign that we're on the right track. Still looking for that third figure. Which should be somewhere here. More little birdies. I found something. Brave boys and raw, filled with foolish stories. Easily recruited. Hmm, okay. Before we just run past all of uh, these empty sheds, one last check to see that we haven't for uh, forgotten one of the soldier figurines. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. Ah, okay, fantastic. Hmm. 
Good, so let's figure out where the heart lies. Good, that's one, two. Might be already it, we're going to see. So. Did that solve the case? No. I admit I'm enjoying the target practice. Like you need it. I think we already cleared that part here. Um, needed to get to that altar as well, but I can do that off screen. I like altars because more hit points, super, super valuable. Watch out! Spectre possession! Alright, let's try a little blast, shall we? So, what was that, Saiken? That was the worst uh, switch in history of Banisher. More friends. Run, Red. Reinforcements. Spectre going for a meat suit. Okay, that's not cool. We got two specters that were successful. You're within gun range, Red. Okay, well. This explains the abundant loot. Ah, uh, it does. Let's check out what we're finding. Tobacco tea, farm tools, carbon must be handled with care. Handled with care? Well, they were just blankets. I don't like this at all. another spectral stain here. Blankets cargo infected with smallpox. Handling must be avoided. Direct skin contact prohibited. The smallpox in the blankets was intentional. The pinnacle was sick. Smallpox.
Good. Putting a knot up here. Just in case. And let's go down. I shall blacklist you with my merchant friends. The name from Squire Paris's books. What was he? Sincere Paris knew the mercenaries who massacred Jane's people. And what they did seems to have horrified them. Squire Paris traded with the mercenaries. He kept it quiet. I bet Jane doesn't know. If she doesn't know it yet, when she hears it, she'll be furious. We should talk to Squire Paris. All right. And that would be right over there. So, fast travel it is. All right. Here we are after a little bit of fast travel. Time to confront sincere with what he has done i hope you bring good news your hands are drenched in pennacook blood the hummingbirds gave you pox riddled blankets to sell to jane's people you knew what you were doing and did it anyway the hell you say this is why you linger you deny your guilt that binds you to Jane. Business is business. Guilt can't come into it, or a man would never turn a profit. Guilt can hang. I didn't know the hummingbirds would attack the camp. Soon as I learned they had, I, I cut all ties. The only survivor was enslaved. You bought her title and set her free. A cheap salve for your troubled conscience. Read it how you will, Mistress Banisher. Now the truth is out. May I go? It's not so simple. You knowingly sold infected blankets to Jane's tribe. She'll have to hear it. What? No! No! She must not know! I've made amends for years. She's had my help. You can't tell her. Please don't tell her. Well, we need to. Sincere Paris sold the blankets to the tribe. I'm ill at the thought. Did the squire buy Jane's freedom to assuage his own guilt? He didn't feel too guilty to profit off her labor. Gall of him. Unforgivable. Time to lay it all out for both of them. I'm sure they'll both be fine with it. Nah. She's not going to be fine. Jay, don't listen to him. This is a misunderstanding. You have to come clean, Paris. What is going on here? When the hummingbirds attacked, your people were sick. Smallpox, right. Even dead, the squire cannot shut his mouth. He knowingly sold your people disease-ridden blankets. When the pox did not kill you all, the mercenaries attacked. Only then did Paris disavow the plan. Until then, he'd been their partner. If this is true, then the Squire is lucky he's already dead. I need no banisher. The spirit of Squire Sincere Paris is mine. I'm afraid right now it falls to us to end the story. Well... It's hard to blame her for that, but I need her soul. Jane, you thirst for vengeance, but New Eden has enough ghosts. We don't need you making more of them. Do what you will, but sell me no lies, for I see you, white man. Just one more greedy devil making profit from our murder. A curse upon your name, Red McRaith. A curse upon your spirit. May your seed wither and your blackened heart burn. Aye. 
Seems likely. I'll take no pleasure here, but I'll look you in the eye. I owe us both that much. You... You bastard! You and me both, Paris. You and me both. Soon I will be with my loved ones, white man, and the blood on my hands will bring them joy. Well, that was intense. Unfortunately, not the best ending, but I need to collect souls. What am I supposed to do? Manifestation. Outburst cooldown reduced 10%. Damage taken by Reed is reduced uh, 20%. The lower the spirit gauge. That's great. That is fantastic to be precise. And we need one more spirit point. Which is what we're going to get from, wait for it, wait for it, there's a haunting case right here, shouldn't be too difficult and there's a bit of a map to explore as well. Another haunting case here, but that is deep into the fog, into the mist. So I suppose I suppose we're just going to take uh, this haunting case, which means we're going to do the abandoned farm shelter. All right, be right there. And here we are. Close as ever to the case. Is it underground? No. It's right next to the shed. I see how it is. Dear Lord, I need you now. Please, send help. An unnecessary question, perhaps, but uh, is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. There are demons in the mill. This is all Haskell's fault. May his wretched soul rest in peace. His leniency brought the devil on us. Now witches will walk the land. But why are you still standing there gawking like a goose? Aren't you a banisher? I told you, there are demons. I, I... Tell me all about these demons and this mill. There is a mill. It is my mill in which I mill flour to bake my bread. In the mill, there are demons sent by the evil one. Oh, all right, all right. No need to be an arse about it. I'll look into it. The, the mill lies past the barren fields and across the bridge. Whatever you can do to help, I would be grateful. Will you be all right out here? Will any of us be all right now our governor's gone? Lucy Barrow is dead, and demons walk. God has forsaken us. I'll take that as a maybe. I'm sorry to learn the wife has died. Oh, don't be. 
Are you close? Close? <laughs> yeah, we were close. Close enough to hate each other. And before you jump to any sodden banisher conclusions, her death was not my doing. And t'was I who found the body. I shall not miss her. Yeah, you will when the ale runs out. You really don't seem to hold her in your heart. The baker and the alewife both need barley. We made a bargain, spitting hand and shaken on, to share the crop. But she broke the deal, went her own way, cut me out. No, I did not like her. All right, I should go. As must I. We killed her. And he might not be as guilt free Demons either. Demons and a dead alewife. Haunting case. Haunting case. Red. Watch out! Spectre possession! God, you're tougher than a gadfly! Get rid of the other Spectre first. A wee Highland kiss for you. Okay, we can't manifest here, which means there's a spirit collector somewhere. Beware. Wards. And there's a chest inside, a blue one. And the way to get in there is to manifest. Sorry, not this time. Maybe not to make you angry. Fabulous. More witch stone, which we still don't know what it exactly it is doing. We've already been to the ship, so that one is fine. What are we working with here? Point of interest right over there. Something's nearby. Where is it? Massive what is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. Massive spectral strain, uh, stains on the other side. Can't find what's hidden at the moment. Red, I can't manifest anymore. Well, isn't that a surprise? No more words. Thank you. A sight to behold. Wasn't I always? Look at that. Did we, did we just find a shrine? Oh, hell yeah. And that's a good one. That's one that gives uh, Reed the strength. Fabulous. Let's go, baby. Heads up. Hit the wrong one, unfortunately. Cool. Got an altar. And you guys know how much I like those. Uh, those. That's not bad at all. Something's here. Hidden. Uh, 
I wonder where it is. Good. Double checking the map. I think we have no further secrets. We got one on the right hand side. And then there's a long, long way up here to another secret. Let's go do the secret quick because I'm pretty sure we don't need to go there another time. They never learn, do they? Have some of this. Don't let that spectre get to the corpse. I won't, don't worry. Plenty of spectres here. Good, continuing to the spectre. This looks like a spectre field. No, like a scorch. That is great because we need scorch. There's an trees. angry spectre nearby. Summon it before it ambushes us. That is good. Love it. Um, scorch time. My voice commands you. Unveil. The Scorch Accretions are also the ones that we need. There's a tough one. In order to upgrade the items to the highest level. Don't just stand there. Move. Fancy a race. What's that thing have? Bending the rules, are we? Good, Scorch Cretion, fantastic, and that'll not uh, that'll allow us to upgrade a couple of our other items. It's always good to check these little secrets here and there. Fabulous. Back to the actual case. 
pericardial smell. I'm not sure why we're meeting that many specters on the way. I thought I had just cleared the way. Damn! Ain't we best out? Move it! Try this on for size. That spectre's looking for a body. This isn't over yet. Wow, this must be a very, very haunted area. Some demons. Need I was expecting an audience with Legion. Someday, maybe. Exactly sure why there are so many specters here. It's crazy. Non stop fighting at the moment. We have no grain for which reason, we have no flour for which reason, we have no bread. No bread? God will never mention that. Who's that? Yes. Some. Hard times for Cotto the Baker. Okay. This looks like it was ripped from a herbarium. Fetolica decandra. Pokeweed. It's poisonous. Why would a baker have pokeweed? Great Cobwebs question. on empty barley bags. He ran out some time ago. Looks like Cottle hasn't been able to do his work for quite some time. Corn, expensive, and bread to friable, cottage cheese and eggs, bread rolls, rye, difficult to grow, expensive, unsatisfactory. We should go back to the Harrows and talk to him. Alright, something definitely is... So a baker is forced out of work, his business partner dies mysteriously, and now the baker is haunted. How bizarre. Still, I feel for him. He'll be desperate. Can't sustain that for long. From his demeanor, I'd say it's too late. He's a lit fuse on a human powder keg. I'd like to be around when he goes boom. Okay, let's go. And find that guy. Am I right to assume he conveniently went back to Hamlet? Of course he did. All right, off we go. All right, we're here. Let's do a bit of knock knock. Mr. Cartel, are you here? Something's good. Anyone home? Right, well, what happened here? A key hidden behind a spectral web. Why? Good question. I don't know.
Despite the barley shortage, Lucy Barrow was brewing ale. Drove Perry mad. Sent him snooping after her. Why would she not tell him? Food is as important as drink. Do not touch that, you filthy thief! Wait, 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 wait. You! Who are you? What are you doing here? Wait. The Banisher, McRaith. Haunted by a ghost? You must be joking. Mistress Barrow. Glad to see you, circumstances notwithstanding. This is my partner, Antia Duarte. Yes, yes, pleasure to meet you, but never mind that. Perry Cottle stole the key to my alehouse. You have it. I want it back. Why would Perry Cottle have the key to your alehouse? He wishes to steal my business. So I hid it from him. There's nothing quite like watching a grown man soil his britches over losing a bloody key. Serves him right. The barley failed. No barley means no flour. No flour means no bread. It drove him mad. It made him mean. I don't easily scare, but he scared me. And I was right. In the end, he poisoned me. Tell me about the poisoning. To start, let me tell you about the baker Perry Cottle, who is as mean as he is stupid. Mean, for he would not pay me for my work. Stupid, for he poisoned me before he could get his grubby hands on it. Are you sure he poisoned you? We had words. He threatened me. He carried out the threat. It seems cut and dried to me. You know how to brew ale without barley. We know this because Perry Cottle spied you doing it. For a great baker, he makes a piss-weak spy. Why would you not share your work? I'll tell you this. My husband and I ran a tavern in England. He supported my ambition. Never once was he intimidated by me. When he died, I sold up and left for the new world. I was looking for peace, opportunity, wealth. I found it all. Until the curse. Everything I have, I earned with the sweat of my brow and the brains in my head, and neither man nor God shall take it from me. Perry Cottle thinks innovation, the fruit of my labor, comes from God to be shared by all, but especially by Perry Cottle. I am a woman of enterprise. And no one drinks for free. No payment, no deal. You don't believe me? See for yourself. You have the key. Go to the alehouse where I died. Where is it? Go north, across the bridge, past the fallow fields. But do be careful. I hear it's haunted by the ghost of the poor dead alewife. Oh, wow. We should go. Can't get him up. Looks like Perry Cottle left some details out of his story. Let's go to the alehouse. Interesting development, isn't it? And yet again, we must fast travel. All right, <clears throat> we find ourselves near the brewery and to no one's surprise I assume there are a couple of chest ar uh, chests around This might be where she died. No spectral uh, stains, though, which is interesting. All right, off we go to the actual house. Lucy's ale house, I believe. A playground for the devil, according to some. Let's 
So, what do we have here? Folk need bread. What do you use in place of the barley? Lucy, Mistress Barrow, please, I beseech you, tell me. No. Folk must have bread before they have ale. I offered you a fair deal. You're the one who turned it down. Then you leave me no choice. I'll have the secret. I'll not let them starve when there's bread to be had. You missed your chance. Now go away. Not the first time we've heard of this deal. Doesn't change the fact that Perry was furious at Lucy's refusal. Enough to kill? Seems unlikely. Keep looking. Oh, I see how it is. Open the window there and then we need to get the vines away. They drive them off, as they say. Alright, one not there. Can hardly believe that it should be only one knot. Let's try. Of course it isn't. But the other one can't be that far away. Did I already mention that I hate this minigame? Good, so it's one there. If we were to charge over here, is there any other? Oh yeah, one over there. Good, let's try this. Charge, charge, charge. Let's check what was hiding under that ivy. Well thumbed books. Lucy Barrow's an educated herbalist. She died of poisoning. Ironic. We should search the mill. I agree. I agree. Let's check the other side. And this door is locked. I'm right here, you know. Once more with feeling. Dodge it if you can. I might be able to help with that. All right. Problem solved. I 
I do not see any mechanism to unlock the mill. Did we find a key? I think we did. Oh, are we talking about jumping into the mill? Have, have there been spectral stains to go into the mill? No, it's just vapors. Maybe from the other window. guess there is a bar blocking it but that's not the case I wasn't wrong there is a jump port over there jump to be had up behind the wheel there we'll have to stop it spinning first hmm, I'll look into that Shoot the lock. Not from here, anyway. No, it would be highlighted. How do we stop that? Hmm. I know that once we stop it, we can get into the mill. That's a given. Are we missing something there? It's not even connected properly. Hmm. Okay. Let's give it another attempt. We need to do this together. I know. Dude, I'm working on it. Do we need to shoot right through there? might be the solution or or there is something on the inside now I get it
there must be a mechanism somewhere here those windows are rock solid so not much that we can do about those hoping this here could have something to do with it but does not all right let me try out a little bit more after trying for a while you can shut that gate down ah, stupid sometimes you're waiting uh, you're searching for a long long time and then the solution is complete at a completely different location <laughs> Quite the operation Mistress Barrow is running. Oh, look at that. It's the drunkard's jackpot. Don't get excited. Once upon a time, finding this lot would have made my day. Yes, and those orders won't be fulfilled. Unless Perry takes over the brewing. Wouldn't be the first time an ale wife lost a business to a man. Who's this ghost high? Storm mortar and pestle crotched miss uh, uh mix the flavors for her. Ale it has been recently used. This is our ghost tie, and a memory hangs on it. Toki me indrasta, skal nam phallus. Harry Cottle, is that you are creeping once again? You can die first before I give you anything. Rest run, Cottle. I have a stick and I'll not hesitate to use it. She took the fight to Laka instead of the hops. A sad fate, and a stupid death. Afraid to lose her individuality, she lost everything instead. Without her secret ingredient, I still can't make bread. Perry Cottle, what are you doing in my house, you horrible little man? Dear Lord, what work of the evil one is this? Lucy Barrow, but you're dead. I saw your body in the alehouse. The dead return, and you are most surely a witch. Yes! Oh, this explains everything. Oh, for the love of God, just stop your nonsense and explain what the hell you were doing in my alehouse. I believe I'm the one who needs answers. Oh, God! The world is ending, and the Lord must call us to him. Go on then, Mr. Cottle. What were you doing in the alehouse when you found Lucy dead? I'd not seen her in a moment. I was checking she was well. You base strain hardy oaf. You'll not have what's mine. You were checking to make sure I was dead. I was doing no such thing. But you were, Mr. Cottle. You spent weeks harassing Lucy here for her recipe. You harangued her so much that in a moment of stress, she made a mistake and accidentally poisoned herself. For that, you are responsible. Time to set the top on the right bottle, Cottle, you dundering harasser. 
You windling failure, you sneaking thief! I... No, I... I, I, I never meant to... I, I am none of those things! She had it coming! Devil worshipper! Witch! Selfish woman! To work then. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. So it's done. Perry Cotto, you're haunted by the ghost of the alewife Lucy Barrow. You didn't kill her. But that doesn't make you innocent. I have done nothing wrong! You bullied her. And you spied on her. And threatened her. That seems wrong to me. You did those things, and she came back because of them. Because of you. What? What else was I to do? You could have left her alone. All right, and so ends yet another tale. It should not end like this. I should rise. I should rise. Well, no rising for you. They'll figure it out, or they'll starve. Good. That concludes today's episode, I would say. Thanks a lot for watching. We just hit level 19. And uh, with that, we can either switching uh, level up to switch to NT increases manifestation damage or outburst cooldown uh, is reduced. I think we're going for that outburst cooldown because I really like outburst. Uh, the manifestation damage isn't bad either. And then we do have parrying reduces next damage taken or Weak spot hits with a rifle increased by 50%. This is not good, really. Uh, we got parrying health points and defending enemy with a rifle increases rifle damage. That's better. This isn't bad either. We do have one more ghost point that we need the question is do we really have another ghost story do we have another haunting case that is open got one more here and one more there so the only haunting case that we do have available is right there And I think that's pretty much it. You know what? I'll just uh, move there and see if I can find it. But I'll do that off camera. So that'll happen exactly in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Truly appreciate it. Uh, if you want to brew some fine ale, uh, try to check out uh, the like button first. I am told they do have a secret recipe. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.